Hello, people of the internet. I'm Mom with the Plan, and I haven't been this excited for a game in a while. Week 17. This is it. This game, and next week, and it's over for the season. Except for the uh, cup at the end of the season. But, this is it for Kim Maxi. We're entering the last two games, and Tesco Valley Bay Wonders have the opportunity of a lifetime. If they win here, they will play Domino's Pizza Zimbabwe at the Wanda Metropolitan next week, where they will have a chance to rescue themselves from relegation. Kearsey's United, on the other hand, are just a point clear at the top of the Kilmac League table. Combine these two factors, you've got two teams that have everything to play for today, so any mistakes could be costly. We're seeing the strongest lineups that we've seen all season, and it's looking excellent for both teams. And as you can see, um, it's um, as per usual a strong, strong Kearsey's United lineup. Uh, well, really, you know, we, we can't say too much. We come to expect this from them. Uh, but there is Dylan O'Brien. Will he make a difference today? Will anyone be able to um, make the difference today? We're about to find out. And here it is, the biggest game of the season so far. We're underway. And uh, Tesco Bally Bag takes it. And here's Roy Keane and Dylan O'Brien. And they're playing some good football here, Tesco Bally Bag. And that ball is to Roy Keane. Roy Keane! Goal! Goal given! Tesco Valley Big Wanderers take the lead after three minutes. It's an amazing start to the game for the home side, and the roof of the Tesco Valley Big car park has absolutely come off. Look at that, Roy Keane <laughs> through on goal. Kearsey's United were just completely unprepared for such an aggressive start to the game, and it's an excellent ball over the top. And uh, there from Tesco Valley Big. Oh, and here's Matongo Babongo. He could level the gap. And oh, he's hit the bar. That ball has come out again. And now it could go anywhere. And oh, there's Eugene Power now. This could be a huge reversal. Eugene Power now. He's getting through on goal. And he saved it. And that ball is into the pass of George Best. And it's 2 0. 18 minutes gone. And Tesco by the big lead. 2 0. Could this be the year? for Tesco Bally Bag to pull off the most unlikely comeback in Kilmac League history. Oh, well, what a move it was after going all the way down. Kiersey United just have no one at the back and George Best, a bit of a spingy sponge, might have slipped up there a bit. But George Best did very well. And here's Paul's goals. Kiersey United looking for that crucial goal back. Oh, he's got spingy! Oh, 2-1! And Hoogie Bap Bap Spingy's done excellent there to get that goal from that position but now the game is back on uh, Tesco Belly Big Wanderers can no longer afford to sit back they have to go for the jugular here and attempt to claw their way back into this game it's excellent work here and um, oh well yeah I mean Hoogie just does excellent there to um, guide the ball into the net very well done and Kiersey's United now here's Obabo and uh, this should do it for halftime and it does Tesco Belly Bay Wonders have had an amazing start to the game. It's died down a bit since then, and Kearsley's United have shown signs of clawing their way back into the game. But as it stands, Kearsley's United will still lose at two goals to one, the halftime score. And, uh, oh, it's Paul Scholes. He's tried a shot, and it hasn't gone well for him. And here's Paul Scholes again. Paul Scholes, yes, it's there! Kearsley United have equalised, and it took him 67 minutes. Oh, what a goal from Paul Scholes from outside the box. That's what he's capable of. Look what it means to Kearsey's United. They now have a chance to take the lead here. A draw, while it would keep them top, assuming every other team lost. And uh, that would, of course, not be the optimal result. But Paul Scholes has given them a lifeline here and a chance to take the lead with this goal. And it's a very, very well taken shot. And Mr. Pringle tries, he might, could not get there. Now uh, Tesco Valley Big would be looking for a response. Here's Kesha in yeah, Tesco Valley Big. Oh, there could be Anton here. George Best. George Best. Yes, it's there. How's that for your response? Three, two. And George Best, who has come up clutch for so many times for Tesco Valley Big this season, he does it again. It's a fantastic finish. Oh, look at that! Just one touch into the goal. Oh, what a ball, what a goal. Tesco Valley Big to George Best. It's amazing. And they are now 3 2 up. Amazing.
And now here's Eugene Power. And Eugene Power, oh, he... Fuck, that was close. Kiersey's were very, very lucky to get away with not conceding the goal there. Oh, and Hoogie Bat Bat Spingy. Oh, he's gone. Oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? Hoogie Bat Bat Spingy. And now it's Matongo Babongo. Spingy. Oh, Matongo Babongo's inside the box. He shoots, he scores. It's 3 3 again. And Matongo Babongo might have just relegated the Tesco by the Big Wonders. Well, look at that. And now Kiersey's could take the lead again. And uh, Hoogie Bat Bat Spingy does a lot of work here. Perhaps does a bit too much because he gets himself tangled up. But Matango Babongo had the simple task of tapping it into the net. And he has done that excellently. But here it is. Johan Cruyff and Caelan Quinn coming on. And sorry Caelan, I know I misspelled your name. But uh, yeah. Sorry. And that ball into the box. That's not gone well at all. But it could be here. Still. And that's been kept in very well by Dylan O'Brien. He's exhausted but he's still working. Can he get there? And uh, he can. He's he's no, he can't get there, and that's going to do it. It will finish three all by the looks of things, and it does. That is Tesco Valley Big Wonders. They are relegated from the Kilmac League. It's a disappointing end, but they put up such a memorable display here that I think they will be remembered by everyone in the Kilmac League long after this game. The full time score: Kirsty's United three, Tesco Valley Big Wonders three. And now we will see how the other title challengers did in their respective games. In the first game we have to get to is uh, Greenway Rovers from Bay against Byron Kambedon at the Greenway. I mean, yeah. You know, you really can't uh, beat the Greenway for atmosphere in my opinion. And uh, what a game to have here between two top class teams. But anyway, yeah. Um, there was plenty of opportunities very early on. Um, Andrew Shevchenko with that one. Could have gone anywhere, really, you know, to be honest with you, but it didn't. Anyway, so yeah, people were trying to break the gap down just the whole time, and then Zoe Kett had this shot, and that's just that just broke my heart. <laughs> like, can't even score from there. What are you doing? But anyway, eventually the goal came, and who the fuck do you think scored it? Fucking look at this. Fucking Kelsey Power <laughs> of all people scored the goal. And it's, it, it's the most important goal in Green Bay Rovers history. 90 minutes. Literally, there is no time left on the clock. This is, you know, this is potentially the last kick of the game. And it's just, it's gone. In and it's away from the keeper. Samuel Crockett's like, you know, he can't get there. Like, there's no keeper in the world to get there. And it's an amazing goal. I was so happy when this went in. <laughs> just, just the... Uh, Someone like that to score a goal is it's a special thing in the Kilmac League. It's like when Mick Fit scores, but like ten times better. But then this happened. <laughs> you would not believe this. The 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 Kilmac League just comes up with new ways to surprise even me. As Kylian Mbappe tears down the wing and fucking plays into Eusebio and he scores a goal. Like, how heartbreaking is that? How fucking heartbreaking is that if you how fucking heartbreaking is that if you're Green Bay Rovers? Like, I mean fair enough, they don't lose the game, like but that is a very solid three points denied from you. They, um, like you know, especially with Kirsty United drawing, like, ah, uh, it's so heartbreaking. And that's the way it finished. <laughs> so yeah, Kelsey Vera with what she thought was the most important goal of her career, and it turns out it's just complete not a shite. She might as well not have scored it, or actually she should have, because like that keeps Green Bay Rovers on thirty points. Anyway, now we have more drama. I mean, this week is just chock full of drama. Kilmac Thomas AFC in Domino's Pizza Zimbabwe from Karabaha Park. Now, as we can clearly see, uh, these are two um, good teams, but uh, Kilmac were the only one with something to play for. But Papa Jonathan didn't read that memo because he scored after 18 minutes to make it 1 0. So, yeah, I mean, this was really concerning for me when it happened. Like, I wanted to have as many teams as possible competing for the league when uh, the when the, um, uh, the week 18 rolls around, which will be next week, by the way. But yeah, um, this was disappointing for me, and it got especially worse when Papa Jonathan scored his second goal in the first half. And after 31 minutes, it's 2 0. This is getting seriously concerning. Uh, I am starting to ship bricks because Kilmac Thomas lose this, right? You know, I mean, Kilmac Thomas get. Uh, I mean, this was a. Yeah, they can draw, like, but, you know, 
they need to win really but Jake O'Brien then got down the wing and played that ball in to um, Stephen Morrissey and we don't see too often but he scored a goal and that is huge because it gets Kilmack back in the game so then that got the team going and Patrick Morrissey really does some good battling here to win the ball back and he's looking for the pass here so he's, he's just going himself and he takes it into the box and fires so it's 2-2 now we are left so now they have a chance to win the league, assuming it is like this, but they can better their chances and move to 30 points if they get the winning goal. But could they do it with 10 minutes left on the clock? Well, that was a question that only one man could answer. <laughs> and as we can see here, we're going to see his answer. It's, it's fucking Stephen Morrissey. Stephen rescues Kilmack. And yes, it's their greatest player who they've called on time and time again, and he provides the goods once more. So after 87 minutes, Kilmack Thomas finally steal the win, 3-2, coming from 2-0 down, showing excellent character to do so, and it's a fantastic way to win a game. So yes, Kilmack are, <laughs> are well and truly on the way to um, being in an amazing title race. But anyway, yeah, so there's one more team, and it's against the team that will be relegated, if they, assuming they don't win this. So yeah. Um, as you can see, uh, yeah, atmosphere probably not great. I mean, probably a bit shitty, but uh, hey, you know, you can't really uh, dictate that sort of thing. But um, yeah, so um, uh, it was obvious. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it was fairly obvious he was gonna win from the offset. So uh, Bernie Casey scoring a goal fairly early on to make 1 0 to St. Mary's Hurling. Now, uh, did St. Texans have any fight in them? I actually can't remember whether or not they did because I don't know what the final score of this game was. St. Mary's though do have a pretty poor goal difference, they would be looking to run up a tally here against St. Texans Athletic because um, they're certainly not going to beat Kiersey's by like 5 million goals but anyway yeah, Bernie Casey got through again after 12 minutes and somehow missed I, I don't know what went on there but yeah that didn't go in and uh, Pappas Talvin tried this shot and somehow he hit the post too so yes they both hit the post I mean though Pappas Talvin probably has a better reason or just like has it looked better um, to hit the post from that position um, but yeah looking for um, <laughs> a reason there and then this happened so uh, yeah Mr. Collins getting it and um, he's looking for the pass in and he gives it to the brig who equalizes so all of a sudden <laughs> things are sh 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 excuse me, suddenly looking very strange um, and yeah so that would put uh, St. Mary's on 29 points rather than the 31 they want so um yeah they needed a goal and um st texans went into the full on defensive mode uh or actually no they were in attacking mode i don't know why but uh, yeah it was huge ass who's a clutch player for um St. Mary's this season scoring the winning goal uh in this game and as we can see he gets to uh, he does very well to do so he's um been quite good this season and uh yeah as you can see uh <laughs> you know i mean really some players uh, just, you know, have that instinct about them, and uh, I guess he's just one of them. But anyway, yeah, so 2 1, and that's the way it finished. So, yeah, they did try to get another goal, but uh, unfortunately for St. Mary's, it didn't work. So, that goal difference is still going to stay at minus 3. Now, I'm going to bring up the table at the start of the next match, um, and uh, yeah, so you can pause it there because I want to I want to keep the highlights rolling, but I am not going to be talking, I'm not going to be talking about the game because Kent and Centra are both out thanks to um, Kirsty picking up a point and uh, also St. Mary's being on 31 points so as you can see in the table here uh, just before it goes away so um, Kiersey's United 31 points St. Mary's 31 points goal different separates them Kiersey's United and St. Mary's Hurling will be playing each other in this week's in the next week's game so yes the last week is going to feature a winner takes all scenario or if that game isn't a draw which it is liable to then Kilmack Thomas AFC or Green Ray Rovers, who are both on equal goal difference, will have to battle it out. So the team that scores the most goals in their game will win it. Now, Kilmack Thomas are at home to Kent, and um, Saint, er, Green Ray Rovers are also at home. They are at home to Domino's Pizza Zimbabwe. So it is going to be one hell of a showdown. Four teams all vying for the league, and any one of them could win it. If that doesn't spell an epic gamer moment, I don't know what does. But in all seriousness, that is a very close and tight title race. And, well, we'll have to be looking forward to it. <laughs> Just look at that. Anyway, yeah, so that is um, 
all I have for this video. I've been the man with a plan. Thanks for watching my videos. If you'd like to see more reflexes, then please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you for that brilliant finale to the Kill Max League in week 18. See you then.